All right, so let's get started with the uh, poster awards. Uh, there were over 200 amazing posters out there. Uh, I had a tremendous amount of fun looking around at, at all of the projects that people have been doing. Uh, before we get started, we have a number of people that we have to thank for getting this conference going, for organizing it. First, our hosts at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology have been uh, extremely gracious, especially Ai Ming, uh, Ying, and King, who we affectionately refer to as the Yings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, tremendous support from the Dean of Science, uh, Professor Cheng, uh, as well as Crystal, who did much of the administrative work, uh, many of the details that have allowed this four-session conference to run so smoothly to keep you all occupied. We've had a tremendous number of uh, student volunteers from UST uh, that have helped us with the AV without, as far as I know, any major problems. Uh, everything is recorded, and so if you missed a session or a talk because you had something else you needed to do, please go to the internet and soon everything will be up there. Uh, per, uh, Professor Roland Chin, the Vice Chancellor, was also instrumental in making a lot of this happen. Uh, UCSF and the QB3 program have been very important for making the connections that allowed us to hold the meeting in Hong Kong in the first place. In particular, Brenda McNulty, uh, Milo Pasquani, uh, uh, Reg Kelly, uh, were instrumental in making this happen with a tremendous amount of support from our resident investment banker, Jack Wadsworth, for, uh, Morgan Stanley, slash Ceylon Ventures, et cetera. Uh, we'd also like to thank all of the committees that made this possible, the executive committee, which also includes Pamela Silver from Harvard, uh, the program committee, which was made up by uh, many people throughout the region that helped us put together many of the talks and the sessions that were involved, the local organizing committee that made all of this happen and coordinated this feat among the three major universities in Hong Kong. I think a special thanks goes to Lauren Bekaw of the BioBrick Foundation for uh, orga organizing a conference uh, exactly halfway across the world uh, with uh, five to 600 participants. That's no easy feat. And speaking of the participants, uh, over half of the sessions came out of a uh, request from the community to hold different uh, subjects and to invite the people that they thought would be the most interesting. And so I appreciate people contributing to this process and we hope to have a continuing open source approach to organizing conferences in the future. Uh, so with that, I'll introduce Jeff Wei, uh, who will uh, go through the poster awards. Thank you. Okay, folks, we had a lot of excellent posters. We had a lot of excellent judges volunteering their time, exhaustively looking over these posters. And it was very difficult to come up with the uh, final choices that we made, but we have made some choices. I should say also these choices are sponsored uh, and come with a cash prize from the various corporate sponsors who have made contributions that are listed in the book. And, uh, and But your check will be in the mail. I will uh, give you an award um, uh, certificate, but, but I will not hand you a check right now. Uh, so without further ado, uh, the, 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 also I should say we had to improvise a few additional prizes because of the fact that the poster sessions were so diverse and there were so many areas of synthetic biology uh, listed that we really felt we should try to represent all of them and so I'll, I'll get to those in a moment. But the first award is for best part or device. And this goes to uh, poster number 86, Jimon Kim and Sang Yup Lee from the Korean Advanced Science Institute, uh, or Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. And hopefully one of the two of you is here to collect your uh, award. Uh, this is for 
uh, a chromosomal modification system for synthetic engineering of a very interesting organism, Mannheimia succinoproducens, uh, which produces succinic acid. Uh, we'll, we'll connect with them in a moment, hopefully. <laughs> And the next poster is, uh, the, the next prize is for best use of DNA synthesis. And this is going to a poster by a number 47, a long list of authors, basically build, the poster's entitled Building Saccharomyces cerevisiae 2.0, The Synthetic Yeast. And uh, the first author, first presenter is Jessica Siegel Diamond, and then including Sarah Richardson, Lisa Scheifel, Candace Coombs, Joy Wu, Annabelle Buka, Srinivasan Chandra Sigaran, Joel Baker, and Jeff Buka from at Johns Hopkins University. And hopefully at least one of you is in the audience. <laughs> ah, this, 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 this poster represents an, a very ambitious process, project to basically re-engineer the whole uh, of cerevisiae organism and also involves a significant undergraduate teaching component which we thought was especially valuable for community building. So congratulations. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. The next poster is for best uh, energy-related poster, the next award, and this goes to Patrick Boyle. Uh, poster number 18, Patrick Boyle, Christina Agapakis, Jake Wintermute, and Pamela Silver, the synthetic hydrogenosome. Uh, uh, this involved essentially recapitulating a novel, the function of a novel and freaky organelle that is found in a few rare, uh, rare eukaryotic parasites, basically causing yeast to turn its mitochondria into a <laughs> hydrogen-producing uh, organelle for hopefully energy production someday. Uh, all right. Next uh, is the poster, the best poster in social issues relating to synthetic biology, and this is awarded to Laura Dress uh, at the Undergraduate University of Maryland uh, for forward engineering. No, wait, that's not. Yes. Oh no, forward engineering a regulatory framework for synthetic biology, how existing regulatory architecture could lend to the creation of our own. Congratulations. Uh, and then the next two, sec two uh, awards were ones that we really felt we had to improvise. They were not planned but there were a large number of posters. A key aspect of synthetic biology represented in a lot of uh, posters is the computational aspect of design. And we felt we had to create two new categories, one in computational system design and one in computational part design. And so these focus on not so much experimental results but computational approaches. So for best computational system design, the award goes to M. A. Uh, Marchesic at ETH Zurich, ETH Zurich. Uh, uh, this is uh, post, poster number 88, Computational Design of Synthetic Gene Circuits with Composable Parts. And uh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the po po best poster for computational part design goes to Denguo Wei. Uh, 
I'm going to have trouble with all of these. Uh, from, from Peking University, poster number 163. Deng Guowei, uh, Xiaolu Lu Zhao, Chong He, Jing Chen, Kun Yang, Jing Chen, Ying Lu, and uh, Lu Ha Lai. And, and, and this is for discovery of inhibitors against multiple protein targets. <laughs> I guess that was a cameo. And finally, the grand prize goes to uh, poster 169, Gabriel Wu, and also uh, Gulam Reza Malmerchigini, Jay Keesling, and Don, John Duber at UC Berkeley. Uh, for the grand prize, uh, this was a poster focusing on synthetic protein scaffolds as an, a tool for uh, balancing and enhancing metabolic flux. This is a very fundamental achievement, we thought, in uh, metabolic engineering that really combined a lot of different aspects of synthetic biology. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. 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 Thank you. So, as I say, there were a lot of great posters. It was it difficult to make the decision. I hope nobody feels slighted. And I also want to thank the judges who hopefully will also, the judging experience is very valuable and I would like to also now put out an ad for anybody who might be in the Boston area in about a month. iGEM is happening at MIT and if you like the judging experience now, you would really like it uh, in, in helping iGEM where it's actually a much more important uh, labor intensive labor of love. And uh, without further ado, I will now introduce Drew Endy, who will conclude with a few final remarks. Let's thank all the judges for the posters and their great work, as also a congratulations to the uh, awardees. I'll, I'll make uh, very short uh, reflecting remarks and then uh, invite our, our local host to conclude the meeting. I have uh, three things I wanted to consider. One were the successes around SB 4.0. The second was the challenges that I think I've begun to reflect upon, and I'm sure there's more. And the third is what's coming next, uh, SB 5.0. So in terms of the successes, I think you could count it in terms of the number of attendees, the folks coming from so many different places, from Italy, from Australia, from India, from Korea, from North America, and so on. That's all worked tremendously well. And I think that the spirit and energy of the community that we gave birth to four years ago is alive. A lot of the challenges, I think, come from the growth of our community and the differences of cultures that are now in the same room. If I think not only about the geographic diversity, but the diversity of interests that's now reflected here, from the commercial interests to the social interests to the basic science interests, as we've grown, we've added on more aspects of our community. And there's an ongoing struggle, I sense, to get better at communicating not lose what we've been traditionally strong at, the science and the engineering in particular, as we begin to welcome new colleagues from the social sciences, from the civil society organizations, and from commerce and industry. So I'd welcome your reflections on how to take that forward as we set up the next meetings, not looking at one community as being a better or worse component, but recognizing that each community has an important role to play as we develop the next generation of biological technology and try and figure out how to work it into the world in a way that's constructive. So far as SB 5.0, it'll happen. Where will it be? We don't know yet. Uh, the work of the conference committee at the moment is to transition the conference to what I'll describe as hoped for a very stable uh, global rotation where we can move from North America to Europe to Asia to the Southern Hemisphere with strong local support from different leadership communities in each region. And there's been a lot of conversations around how to start doing that, and we haven't worked it through. So if you have comments around the structure of the meeting, what's been missing, what got underrepresented at this event, please follow up with the SB4 discussion list. There's been a lot of discussion on that already. Send me an email directly or contact any of the folks associated with the organization of this meeting. We're looking to see this event continue to grow and continue to be the success that I hope you all shared uh, here in Hong Kong. 
With that, I'd like to invite Yiming, Ying, and King, uh, our, our local faculty hosts who have done a tremendous job to officially uh, close the meeting and give us a farewell. Please. So I also want to take this uh, occasion to invite all the student helpers. Do we have any student helpers here? Come forward. I think it has been a great experience for the students and faculty here that we can have uh, so many uh, really the world class uh, scientists and scholars and edu educators all come to this campus. Uh, we are very excited about this opportunity and we have uh, witnessed what happened in the past three days. And uh, we hope you enjoy the conference here. And uh, we hope maybe in a couple of years the conference will return back to Hong Kong again, but hopefully it will be someone else, not us, too. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> do. Okay, I uh, asked uh, my colleagues to share some of the concluding. Uh, it has been a very good experience for us to uh, uh, help organizing this conference, and it's certainly uh, we are certainly feel honored to have uh, all of you here and uh, to have uh, heard some of very uh, excellent talks and presentations and posters. And uh, we hope that this uh, conference will help to uh, bring synthetic biology also to Hong Kong. And uh, as uh, Yiming has said, uh, we hope that in the future, we'll once again uh, be helping to host the conference. And hopefully next time, uh, UST, either UST has been expanded because uh, I think we are already maxing out the capacity. <laughs> you can see from the canteen, right? We are all already maxing out the capacity of the uh, UST right now. But um, um, UST is undergoing some transformations currently also. So uh, we are hopeful that we are going to be expanded. And or uh, next time uh, we'll expand the conference to some other site in Hong Kong. That's also a possibility. Um, and uh, I also want to use this uh, chance to thank again the student helpers. They have been here all three days and uh, in, uh, sacrificing their weekends to help to make this conference successful. Okay. I'll take this opportunity to really thank the local people, uh, including the committee as well as the student helpers. Uh, is Crystal around? Crystal? Okay, she's still working. In fact, there are a whole bunch of student helpers still cleaning up the, the poster board. Okay, so they're still working. So thank you. Um, they're really uh, working very hard. <laughs> uh, and coming from a field that City Brenner started, uh, in the worm field, I think everybody knows that we are one big family. And I think when we organized this meeting, I think what has been in my mind is that we try to keep it as a close community, that we can interact with each other as much as possible, as a close com community that we recognize each other as family members. So even though the family is growing and it's bigger and bigger, we're still connected. I don't think that connection sometimes is the most difficult part that we need to work on. As Drew pointed out, hopefully when we're expanding, we're not losing touch of each other. I think that's the most important issue. So uh, again, thank you for coming to Hong Kong. Uh, enjoying your stay here, enjoying the city, and hopefully you will stay for one or two more days to enjoy other activities going on here in Hong Kong. And I'm hoping to see you again next year, and probably you'll come to Hong Kong again next year or in the future. All right. oh. Thank you very much. So now I invite a student helper representative. Uh, Maybe Casey to officially conclude the conference. <laughs> um, um, it's a great pleasure and opportunity to uh, attend this meeting, and I'm so happy to see so many people from of so many countries. And hope you can enjoy staying in Hong Kong and see you somewhere else. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
we officially declare now the conference is concluded with success. Thank you very much for coming. Hope to see you in the future. Bye bye. 再见。